Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing my quarter two makeup declutter. It's a little bit earlier than planned, but basically I have got a Vesuvian eruption on my chin that I am trying not to aggravate by putting any makeup onto at the moment, ironically. So I was trying to think of a video that I could film that I didn't need my face to be in and this was really the only option. Now, there's not actually that much makeup to go through. I'm not sure how many things I'll actually be getting rid of, but let's get on into what's here and see if there's anything that I'm ready to say goodbye to. Okay, let me sort this out a little bit. First up, I've got three eyeliners here. This is a black one from Urban Decay, a grey one from Hourglass, and then this double-ended number seven one. These are the swatches here, so this is the number seven one, the Hourglass one, and the Urban Decay one, and I am going to keep all three of those. The other swatches that I have in my arm here are this Chanel Quad. So this is the Tissé de Automne. I don't know if they actually make this one anymore. I was trying to link a Chanel Quad quite recently and I think they've kind of changed a bit since the last time I bought any but I really really like this one so again definitely keeping this. I did just post an eyeshadow declutter so there's not really a lot of eye makeup in this box. The last eye related product that I've got is this Too Faced palette. This was the Eggnog Latte palette from a set of three palettes that came as part of the Christmas in New York collection. I'm going to say 2016-ish or something like so old. I love this palette. It's been on quite a few trips with me. It's such a good one for travelling with. So it's got the six eyeshadows and then the blush. These are the swatches. So obviously these are the eyeshadows. This is the blush. They're still performing fine. I wore this palette obviously quite recently because it's in the box. I feel like if I was going on holiday, this is like a full palette that I would just grab and go and know that I'd be safe with. So... Although I feel like it's really old, I feel like it's still got life in it yet, so I'm going to keep a hold of this one. To go on to the other two blushes, um, again, I don't think I'll be decluttering either of these. I feel like there will be some of those liquid lipsticks. I think that's honestly the only thing that's going to go in this video, but so this is Max Stubborn. I love this blush. I think it's super, super pretty. And then next to that, we have my favourite packaging ever, the Dolce & Gabbana. So this is the blush duo. This is the pink one. So that's the blush there really really pretty sort of dolly pink and that's the highlight show you over here with the light coming kind of straight in on it it's a really sort of frosty pink and white highlight and um, very sort of dolly and pretty but really really like that really like mac stubborn as well so no declutters from the blush selection i mean look at that cold brew it's so pretty Onto lip things. So again, I've done a lip gloss declutter video just a couple of weeks ago, which I posted separately. So I will link that up in the eye, but this is all the lip liners, lipsticks, and liquid lipsticks that I've been wearing recently. So let's get into them and see if any can go. But I have got three lip liners. I've got MAC Brick, MAC Auburn, and Lisa Eldridge Ribbon. I don't think I'll be decluttering any of these because I really like them, but I will swatch them for you. So this is Brick, Auburn, and ribbon which is the most sort of classic red amongst them keeping all three of them then i have five lipsticks again i don't think any of these actual lipsticks will be going so this is mac chili which i love so so dearly i'm sure you've all heard me going on about that one before my beloved gucci lucy dark orange so so beautiful definitely keeping that one then this has been a little bit well it's not that different, that would be a bit of an exaggeration, um, but from Dior this is more of a pinky red that I've been wearing recently. I mean, I'd actually go as far as saying it's it's kind of a pink rather than a pinky red. This is the shade Winter Velvet Poppy, it's so so beautiful. This was from the Audrey a few years ago. So yeah, look at that, it's so so pretty. I've been wearing that quite a lot recently. Um, it is a little bit different for me. I mean, it looks really stark next to, you know, the sort of super warm tones of these two. So it is a bit different, but I have been wearing it and enjoying it. Another Gucci one. And can we just take a minute for this packaging? I think this was from Lunar New Year a few years ago. It's the shade Mildred Rosewood. It's one of their really sheer ones. So I've been wearing this at work 
quite a bit. I will say I found with the Gucci ones this formula tends to go off the quickest. In fact, it's the only one that I would really say I've got any of that I would say has not not fully gone off but I've noticed like a change in the smell so I've been trying to get some use out of this because I think it is going to turn at some point so I'm going to keep hold of it until it does that because it's a really kind of useful very sheer very pretty kind of shade that I can wear with no other makeup or whatever so I'm definitely holding on to it but it is just something to be aware of if you are buying Gucci lipstick I think this particular formula which is the what do they call this one? The Voile formula. In my experience so far, going to go off more quickly than any of the, the satin or matte formulas. So just something to be aware of. You can tell this one is special because it's still in its box. The other one that's still in its box is my Guerlain. This is a refill one. Uh, this is 1830, uh, which I wear all the time. I think this has actually been up for consideration in one of the declutters like multiple times and I keep taking it back out the drawer and using it again. This is more back to that sort of chili-esque shade, kind of a, almost sort of 1940s, although it's from the 1830s, the shades in this collection. It was inspired by historical shades from the Guerlain range, so although this one is 1830 technically, I feel like it's very 1940s sort of brownie red and I love it dearly, so definitely keeping that one. Which leads us on to the last category, which is liquid lipsticks, and I think this is the only category and things going to go from, so I will swatch these all first. First up we have Too Faced Gingerbread Man. This is one of my favourite shades ever. Love that. Next up we have Too Faced Lady Balls, which again I love. Next up we have Lisa Eldridge Dragon from her liquid lipstick offerings. From Colourpop we have Prince Naveen from their Disney Midnight Masquerade collection. Next to that I will put this Bourgeois Beau Brun. And last but not least Bourgeois Nudist. So let's give them a minute just to dry and set in and then we will go through them and see what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. These have dried down now so that is the Too Faced Gingerbread Man, definitely keeping. Too Faced Lady Balls, definitely keeping. And Lisa Eldridge Dragon, which I'm keeping. And then quite neatly, I think I'm going to get rid of these three. So this is the Colourpop Prince Naveen. Now I do actually really like this, but my friend Lauren has a few of these and she said hers are starting to go off. So I feel like it's it's similar to Dragon. Probably if I hadn't layered Dragon up I could get a similar sort of finish to this or I could get this kind of similar colour with that's the Guerlain lipstick or you know Mac Chili. They're all kind of in that family so I feel like if this is going to go off I may as well. I don't feel mine is off yet but it's probably on the cusp so I feel like I may as well just cut it now. I can use these other ones that I'm keeping get you know, two uses out of them for using them for themselves and in place of that versus keeping the two and getting one use out of each until they all go off. So I'm going to get rid of Prince Naveen and then these two are definitely off the two bourgeois ones. Now I absolutely love this colour Beau Brun and to be honest I thought I'd be saying I'm decluttering this but would probably repurchase it and I think I probably still would repurchase it at some point but again Beau Brun is very much in this kind of family, you know, it's it's Mac Chili, Too Faced Gingerbread Man. It, it, this was kind of the forerunner, I had this one first, it's one of the oldest things that I own, but I did love it, I got so much use out of it, but it's definitely gone off, as has Nudist, also from Bourgeois, so these three are going to go. The three actual declutters I've saved for the very end of the declutter video. So in the end I'm keeping 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 things and I'm getting rid of three so there must have been 21 to start with. That's actually about 10% and I'm okay with that. I didn't think going into this selection that there was going to be a lot of declutters from it so yeah I'm, I'm happy with three. I know it's maybe not been the most exciting declutter video for you guys but I think if I hadn't posted the lip gloss declutter and the eyeshadow declutter as standalone declutters recently there would have been more meat to this actual video but I did decide to just look at those two categories individually so it didn't leave a huge amount for general quarter two decluttering but three gone that's it's actually over 10% technically so I'm happy with that and we'll see how it affects the figures during my quarter two makeup check-in so thank you so much for watching this video I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one bye